Page 26, UFO Info. I look this over, I got notes going everywhere. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's about a page and a half long. Trouble in base cliff signs again. There's no sharps or flats in the key signature. We're in the key of C major. And 4-4 four, four time signature. Now, see a bunch of quarter notes, dotted half notes, whole notes, and we got sharp signs in various places. We'll have to deal with that. I'm going to take it one hand at a time, make sure I understand what each hand is doing before I put them together. Right hand, we're starting with thumb on middle C here. That starts here. I'm not going to stay here, but that's it. It's just a broken C chord. Four, one. Then we come up here. It's an F chord. Second line, it's a G chord. And the left hand plays that. LH is left hand. Plays that. Third line, now you come down here. It's F, uh, D sharp. The second finger's on D, and he's on D sharp. So I don't leave the finger on D sharp all the time. The hand position is here. I only put it there when I need it. You could leave it there all the time. If that would be easy, I just find that a little awkward. So I, I get it out. the rest you come up. It's the same pattern but now we're in F position. And then the second line again same pattern sort of but now it's in G position. Come down. And then come back to C position. It's very repetitious. Isn't it? Left hand. Well it starts out with the C chord. And two measures left F chord. And then the second line G chord. And then the left hand plays that G up over here and the G down here. The left hand's all over. And then the third line, we're in whole notes in C position. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Top page 27, you're in F position. Doing the same. Second line, G position, F position, C position. Oh, goody. Put the hands together. Well, just quarter notes. As the right hand's playing, get the left hand up here where it goes. Rest, and as the left hand's playing, move the right hand. Again, left hand go, up here the right hand, get the left. Two, three, rest. Two, three, and during all this, get the right hand where it goes, because you well, during the rest you gotta get the left hand up. So it's better to have the right hand in place already, so you're not trying to move both hands. So in the second line, you're here, here, and then here. Get the right hand where it goes immediately. Now you're just moving the left hand. Three. You gotta move both hands up. You can do it quickly, one head at a time if you want. It's up to you. I don't like moving both hands at the same time, but if you want to, you can. Of course, you got to look at the keyboard when you're moving around like this, but it's really, it's more like just glancing down. You're just looking real quick because you can actually glance down at the keyboard and then look at the music before you've moved. And you'll remember that look at the keyboard. You'll remember that in your mind and it will actually help you get your hands where they go. It's amazing how that works. But it's like at the bottom of page 26 when I'm here, and then I want to go to here, I can glance down and see this, and I can look up before I finish the move, and I'm there. It gets better over time, but the idea is you're only glancing down long enough to see where you're going, and then you're back at the music again. So you're here, two, three, rest, and whether you do one hand at a time or both hands together, I'll let you work that out. Now at the bottom, the last two measures. Here. That C is tied. You see that curved line? You got the big curved line for the phrase and then this little curved line for the tie. The left hand is not tied. You're going to play that again. One, two, three, four, one, two, off. So I held that down through the whole thing. Now once I have the hands working together, I get rid of the hesitations. Then I think about the articulation. And here's the phrasing. It's very connected. You're going to lift up for the rest. Rest. Just connect it. And then the dynamics. Mezzo forte at the beginning. And you, you got this. Loud. It'll 
tell you how loud to get. You can go up to about a loud. Go up. Don't get loud in there until the end of it. And then they give you another one. Oh, I'm not going to start loud and get louder. Come back down to where you were and go back up. Each of these at mezzo forte and go up to loud. Each of them. your target and then softer now we're moderately loud in the third line this is soft so we want to hear the melody so the right hand is going to be moderately loud and the left hand is soft until the bottom of page 27 the last two lines they're like the first two lines on page 26 moderately loud going up to loud each time every couple of measures and then you end it loud and that's going to be here at the bottom. That, this is sort of, sort of loud. I want to hear that. I want to hear the C in the right hand. So once I have an idea of the dynamics, then I think about the speed. If you're going to sing it, how fast would you sing it? Two, three. That's a little on the fast side. You can slow down a little if you wanted to. It's up to you. The whole thing is basically one speed. Two, three, four. That's fine. Now they've added pedal. It's kind of interesting. They're adding pedal on these broken chords. It's an effect. A lot of times we use pedal for effect. Special effects pedal. I'm going to push the note down first and then the pedal, and I'm going to lift the pedal up with the hands for the rest. I want to hear the one beat rest each time. So at the beginning, the note, and then the pedal. Together, and the pedal and the hand comes up together. Now at the third line, when the, the words are where the song, see the first two lines are introduction, and the song starts there in the third line. I don't pedal any of that because I don't want to smear it. I mean, it's out of space. Maybe you could think smearing it, but technically we don't want to smear it. And then the last two lines on page 27 is the same as what we did on the first two lines on page 26. Okay. At the end, bottom page 27, going from the second measure to the third measure. They're showing the lip. They haven't taught you all the symbols you need here. What I would like to do is just let the pedal up and right back down. It's just up and down. Not a real quick jerky thing. It's just up and down. It's called change pedal. I do it right after I play the whole note. Here. I'm going to overlap that just a little bit. So the last line. That's really the way that should be done. Let's play this together very slowly and check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do the louds and softs, just the notes and the rhythms. I'll go ahead and pedal it like they're showing. I'll give us four counts. One, two, ready, go. Two, 
three, rest. Two, three, rest. Four. One, two, three, four. 